Hi guys, slightly different background for today's video. I am at my parents' house. The acoustics and sound might be a slightly bit different, but I'm gonna try and, you know, project my voice as best I can. But that is besides the point. I've just gone for a plain background. It's the easiest thing to do here. Um, I'm trying to multitask, you know, whilst I have plans and I had to come around to my parents' house and yeah, I had a full day of things to do. I thought, let me use a little bit of my free time at my parents' house to film some videos and be really productive. So yeah, um, it's boiling hot, but I wanted to come here and do some videos. I'm gonna schedule them. So as you're watching this, this was pre-filmed a little bit, but yeah, as usual, I'm gonna engage with you guys in the comments and everything. And it's a pretty exciting video. It's a topic I haven't touched upon in a while. And it's to do with affirmations overall and about affirmations being it from a state of lack. Do they come from lack? Is it a negative thing? Is it positive that we're doing affirmations? So as a coach, from my personal perspective, my experiences and everything, I'm going to give you guys advice on that and my perspective. So if this sounds interesting, then please do keep watching and thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And I also offer coaching. So if you do wanna work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I offer a lot of different types of written coaching and it's gonna be personalized all to you. I have a whole new set of coaching um, in terms of the range of what I offer and digital files that you can download and work on for yourself. And then a bunch of different packages starting from 60 pounds, going up to 200 pounds. And you can take a look and customize and see exactly what would work best for you. So take a look at my Instagram linked below if you're interested, or just reach out to me via email, which is also listed there. And now we can start the video. So when it comes to people talking about affirmations being from a state of lack, is it you, is it you coming from the point of not having what you want and trying to create something that you don't have. Essentially, that is what it is. Manifestation is always going to be you creating something that you don't physically have in your 3D yet. So yes, it is technically in a way creating something new in your life. But to me, it's not coming from a state of lack because the state itself is irrelevant. State doesn't matter as long as you're applying a mental diet and repetition, in my experience and from my perspective as a coach, it really doesn't matter. And this is what I tell my clients. I reassure them, Whenever they're anxious, um, you know, I help to calm them down and just help them realize that actually it's the practices and consistency and self-discipline that you're applying that matters. So if you're crying or you're anxious, whatever it may be, it's irrelevant because that state is not what's creating your manifestation. Just like if you're having a good day and you're out with your friends, that is not why your SP is going to text you. It's because you've been applying the right thoughts and approach and beliefs and mindset about your SP about relationships. So it's not really the state or how you're feeling that matters at all. Obviously you can be in an anxious state and still manifest your exact desire. You can get exactly what you want. You know, you can get your SP, you can get the job promotion, you can get the weight loss, anything like that. No matter what it is, your anxious state or negative state of mind or state of already having it, unless it's from the point of view of that mentally you're thinking from it, but just to be in a state of anxiety or doubt, it doesn't matter because as long as, even if you're feeling doubt and the thought comes up in your mind when you wake up, as long as throughout the day you are repeating to yourself, I have my desire, I have my desire, it's here right now. As long as you're repeating your affirmations and telling yourself that you have it, that little moment of doubt that put you into maybe feeling anxious or sad for the rest of the day, it doesn't actually matter. If you are looping your affirmations and focusing your conscious and subconscious mind on your desire, on you having it, and I don't just mean sitting there thinking about your SP, looking at old pictures, I mean actually thinking about having that desire in your life right now, and you're consistent and you're focusing on having it and you're looping that thought or that visual in your mind, that is what is going to create the outcome that you want. That is how your conscious and subconscious mind learn and change and shift to the new positive story and thinking from the new positive story. You affect the conscious mind, which then immediately impacts the subconscious. So we don't have a direct link, unfortunately, into the subconscious. We can't pick out and realize and change the thoughts and recognize what's going on. It's kind of like deeper, just it's deeper within our beliefs and the way we function and go about our lives um, with our like not so much cognitive abilities but more so our actions and behaviors and thoughts but if you affect the conscious mind positively it automatically means the subconscious mind is going to have some type of positive effect as well so by telling your conscious mind 
here's my affirmation and I'm saying it a hundred times over today or this morning, which would be better if you do it at each period of the day. This morning I'm going to say it a hundred times. Guess what? The subconscious mind is going to start listening because you're repeating a phrase over and over and over and so the subconscious mind is going to pick up on that repetition. Also, affirmations in themselves to me are very positive. It's a very positive, simplified, easy, magical practice that literally helps us change our lives for the better. So that is how you teach yourself to think as if you already have what you want. And it's pretty much the most easy and effective and efficient way to convince our subconscious minds and create that desire in your physical reality. So to me, it's not a negative thing or a state of lack or you shouldn't be thinking this way, but affirmations themselves are so positive that how could you ever apply a doubt or negative thought to them? I don't understand. By telling yourself, by thinking from the perspective, right, I'm gonna apply manifestation, I want to manifest this thing, I believe in manifestation, I love this community, these YouTubers, whatever it may be, wherever you learned it from, um, then obviously you know affirmations are part of that and to manifest you have to in one way or another focus on your desire. Even the law of attraction teaches you you have to see what you want. So by telling yourself I have a perfect life or I'm married to my SP like why could that possibly be negative? I don't, I don't really get it. To me really it's the 3D reality that is a state of lack because in your physical reality day to day your experiences and intellectually and rationally you acknowledge and know I don't have this thing it's not here like I'm going about my life in this way but without x item or whatever it may be without x experience um so it's the 3d reality that in itself is a state of lack until you get your desire but I mean whilst we're manifesting and going about our lives you technically don't have it and you intellectually know that, you acknowledge that, you're not delusional thinking here, oh, SP's sitting right next to me, SP is right here, hi SP, like, you're, you're not thinking like that, I mean, you can if, you, if that's how you want to visualise, but like, you're not going about your life believing there's physically a person next to you when there isn't, so for me, the 3D reality in itself, we know we don't have what we want, and that's the only way there is a state of lack. So I know I went on a bit of a tangent there, but I hope you explain the point I'm trying to make. Basically, the 3D is the only place you experience that physical state of lack and a literal state of lack, but you don't focus on it because you apply your mental diet, you loop your affirmations, you keep telling yourself the positive outcome as if you already have it. So the fact that we don't physically have it yet, it doesn't really matter because you know you're creating it. Whereas affirmations to me, it's a very positive practice that are step by step with each word, creating your desire more and more. Mentally, you know, you should be focusing already on having it. Um, like I said, affirmations themselves do it. As you're saying those words, you are telling yourself you have it right now. But mentally, we should be focusing on already having it. So there is no state of lack because if you're putting in the right work, you're being self-disciplined, you're doing, you're putting in your best effort to think from the new version, you're, you're already in a really, really positive mindset, probably better than most people in the world, who oftentimes will, you know, normal people, we will, well, I say we, but like, I mean all of us at some point, we will think like a normal person and worry and doubt and think about negative things. But if you're applying manifestation, I think your mindset is already so much more positive and balanced than most other people. So when it comes to affirmations and people critiquing it, I guess in the law of assumption or manifestation community as a whole, just the whole concept of manifesting, because people come from different beliefs, different concepts, philosophies. I don't understand what they would recommend you do, because how else are you going to change your subconscious beliefs, or how else are you going to show your mind visually and verbally through the wording, this is my desire, this is my goal, this is where my focus is, and this is what I want to be created in my reality. How else would you change your beliefs and start thinking in a positive way without applying repetition and constant practice? I don't understand what those people would recommend you do. And finally, I want to touch on the point of negative assumptions. That is where we start from if we need to manifest something. Something happened where we developed a negative assumption or belief and the goal is to then obviously create a positive version, usually the direct opposite that I don't have this thing, this person won't give me this thing turn it into this person is always giving me this thing. I have this thing in my life right now. So you're coming from negative assumptions in one way or another, even if it's just very general, not mild, but what am I trying to say? Like 
general, like very subconscious, deep-rooted, almost invisible to the naked eye beliefs about relationships, your appearance, being able to earn money easily, literally anything. There's something negative there that means you don't have that thing in the physical reality. So how else are we going to be changing the subconscious beliefs? And in order to, and any way to manifest something is through repetition. So how else are we going to get rid of those negative beliefs if we don't repeat the positive version over and over? So it, I'm, that's my perspective. I hope you guys can understand and agree. I think most of you guys will because in the Law of Assumption community, we do tend to all agree on more or less the same methods and practices and philosophy. So I hope this was useful, maybe answered some questions for you guys, eased your mind if you're worried about the you know, what What do affirmations actually mean? I hope this was useful. If you found this beneficial, then please do thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.